A major issue is helping c communities consolidate their forest property rights. Over the last 10 years, Bolivia has gone through a process of recognizing property rights of forest-dependent people, both indigenous people and agro-extractive communities, people that work with Brazil nuts. Well, one of the major issues is developing methods to help people document their customary forest rights. If they document their rights, they can then place this on the table to negotiate, to work out accords that, that allow their livelihoods to be maintained. Well, often uh, writing down who is using the forest and how they're using the forest, but it also almost needs to ha be include a process of mapping, doing uh, participatory mapping. Uh, there, there's technology available that can really empower local people to map the forests that they use. Well, they're mapping. The, the key is training local people to map their forest. They're the only people that understand the traditional rights. As an outsider, it would be difficult for me to go in and, and define the local tree tenure. Uh, it's defined by local perceptions and norms, and since they're the people that use those norms, they need to document it. Uh, a basis for the livelihoods of people all over Bolivia, the people that live in forests. Uh, in the north, communities uh, depend on the extraction and collection of Brazil nuts as a major source of income. Throughout the country, forests provide a major source of, of game meat, uh, material for housing. Uh, they provide a basis for a, a large part of the subsistence of people all over rural areas of Bolivia. Uh, several different sources. Uh, there's a lot of pressure for logging for high-grade timber. Often loggers moving into a forest m create conditions that make the forest more susceptible to forest fire. There's also an expansion of agriculture and ranching. Uh, the pressure to produce more and more soybeans, the expansion of pasture areas by ranching interests, all create pressure on the forest where communities live. I find it fascinating the mixture of, of traditional forest uses and the way they are able to link up to market economies. I find it um, very fascinating the adaptive capacity of forest communities and how they organize to react to the changing conditions they face. Uh, well, for example, um, communities right now in the north of Bolivia have actively taken part in the, the agrarian reform and helping to demarcate their territories. However, introducing methods to allow them to map the for traditional forest uses, they often find that there's a disjuncture between what forest they use and what forest they've gained rights to. There's no way to go back and redo the agrarian reform. However, it, it's possible to generate information about these problems and these mismatches.